Good afternoon and welcome to my shop again. Uh, this is Bruce and um, we're continuing on with the modifications to a couple of stub shafts. Um, in answer to queries that came up uh, from the previous movies, um, it's not possible to machine out the bore of uh, the housings uh, because that's uh, some complex arrangement that's on, on a vehicle. <coughs> However, uh, what we've done is um, we've had to make these large double uh, roller bearings uh, suit the the job and they're replacing a cup and cone which are imperial and these, these are this is metric so what I've what I did first of all was I machined down the outside diameter of uh, this metric um, uh, ball bearing to um, uh, to the same as the inch size of the cup the next thing we did was the shafts, um, the original bearing sat in this area here on the journal. Uh, we machined the, the larger diameter down and um, we then, to the size of the bearing, and then, the, then, we, also, then we made a, a, a bush. And once again answering the question, uh, this shaft is very, very hard, but the bush is made out of a pipe, piece of pipe, a steel pipe and I machined it um, and pressed it on here. It was, I machined it two millimetres above the diameter I need. So I um, pressed that on and we can now move over to the, um, to the lathe here and I can show you the one that we've already machined down. And by the way, we were using, uh, now we're using these uh, WNMGs um, for, uh, for the machining and people ask me also about the ceramics so that's the ceramic it's completely plain but uh, this one here is an old one and I'll show you it's very very brittle very very easy to break these um, they're no good for interrupt cut in any shape or form so we'll just um, wiggle the, the camera down here now uh, so we can see see what we've done here now what we did was with one of these we had to chuck it up and um, and bore a, uh, a center point for it and then um, then we made up the uh, uh, we mach re machined the center point on that one um, on the dead center and we we chucked this up in between centers and I've just finished machining machining the bush to the same diameter as the shaft. This shaft was very hard and then we did that with ceramics. And I'm about to take this one out and chuck up the next one. So we've come out, we've chucked it up. Now every time uh, I've had to go back, we've had to chuck it up, um, do some work, take it out, uh, change the setup and so forth. Now this is only a soft bar the uh, dead center and every time I put it back in the chuck even though this chuck is a very accurate one um, I, uh, I remachine the uh, uh, the point here so that um, we've always got it in, on dead center and uh, we can now uh, chuck up the second one and uh, go ahead and and machine that to size And we're using, as I said, we, we're just using these uh, uh, simple uh, CNMGs, uh, WNMGs, and they are they are working quite well. Can put a bit of light on the subject. Um, and I'm running running here um, at about 800 RPM. I can't show you now the machining work done um, on this one because the bracket that's holding the camera is actually interfering with the uh, the way it is but we can get a close-up here of the machine the machine surface and um, it's come up quite nice a bit dirty there but well, so I've left a relief here and then this here is the machine is the, is the journal so there we have it um, and uh, we'll uh, machine the second one up and call a customer and he can um, toddle over here with his checkbook and, and we can uh, hand over the goods. Thank you for watching.